Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Chimera module called Venoclusive Disease. My name is Rosa Maria Nitti, hematology resident in San Raffaele Hospital in Milan and part of the BMT training committee. And I'm Razan Moti. I'm a BMT fellow at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and I'm also a member of the EBMT training committee. So what is SOS-VOD? Sinusoidal obstructive syndrome, previously known as venoocclusive disease, is currently referred as SOS-VOD. It's a potentially life-threatening complication observed after hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. What is the pathophysiology of VOD? So sinusoidal obstructive syndrome occurs in the sinusoidal endothelial cells, leading to the obstruction of the hepatic sinusoid in the zone three of the hepatic acinus, as shown here in the figure. Sinusoidal endothelial cells can be activated and damaged by factors that will be described in the module, leading to the narrowing of the venular lumen and an increased resistance to the blood flow. This contributes to the post-sinusoidal portal hypertension, worsening liver dysfunction, and as it is seen in the disease, eventually resulting in multi-organ failure. VOD SOS incidence is typically between 10 and 15%. However, it varies according to patient populations, as we will learn. And with certain risk factors, VOD incidence can reach 50%. While mild VOD progressively resolves within a few weeks, the most severe forms result in multi-organ failure and are associated with a very high mortality rate, over 80%. We now have an effective treatment option, the fibrotide, which makes recognition of VOD essential. In this module, Professor Mohamed Moti will give us an overview of venoclusive disease, about risk factors, preventive approaches, diagnostic criteria, and treatment options. At the end, you will find the learning material and the final quiz for the completion of the module. We hope you enjoy the unit.